All right, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the dog beautiful day. Here in the end times, as uh, Sancho, do not get too far. And God, here on this lovely, it is a Monday evening, the final Monday evening in uh, the summer of 2021. So uh, that would be Monday, September 20th. So in two days, I will turn 62 years old. So uh, my great birthday party uh, is scheduled to be at the Hangar Theater in uh, Ithaca, New York where I and uh, four of my Doomer friends uh, bought tickets to the Chris Smither show back in July. And before I bought these tickets for Chris Smither, I made sure there was absolutely no mask or there was no mask or uh, vaccine passport mandate. They assured me no mask required, no vaccine passport, nothing. And we're back to normal in Ithaca, New York. Come on up. And uh, so we bought the tickets. Now, of course, the other four people who I will just remain nameless are, are all vaccinated. So I'm the only holdout. So for my, so we make plans for my birthday uh, because of this. And I have been saying all along that uh, there is no fucking way that uh, by September 24th in the mask Nazi capital of the fucking planet, Ithaca, New York, that they're not going to change this. But it seemed to be, uh, it, it's just like I've been going to several concerts. Uh, they just had uh, the big public concert uh, in Ithaca. Uh, a couple of weeks ago that I went. Uh, no vaccine passport, no mask mandate, no social distancing. It just looked like the good old days. And so I kind of uh, dropped it. So uh, I was talking to Sandy uh, this very morning and she was acting like, what are you talking about? There's no fucking mask or vaccine passport mandates. And uh, so anyway, I decided here on September 20th, four days before the... Uh, Think I should probably just go double check uh, and take a wild guess. So of course uh, they have my email address. Uh, you know they've had my email address since July. Knowing how to contact me, nobody has received one word from the Hangar Theater or Eventbrite or anybody. Okay, so I go on today. Wow. Take a wild guess about this event. Our community's health and well-being is our top priority. To ensure the safest and most enjoyable experience during your visit to the Hangar Theater, we are establishing the following COVID safety plan. Effective immediately, audience members age 12 and older must be fully vaccinated, show proof of vaccination and valid government ID, and wear a CDC-approved mask at all times. Proof of vaccination will be required to enter the building and attend performances. Your proof of vaccination must show it has been at least 14 days after having completed your vaccine series. At this time, results from a negative COVID test will not be accepted for entry. Uh, la, la, la. Additionally, Hangar Theater will continue to follow safety procedures already in place. Again, all patrons will wear CDC-approved masks regardless of proof of vaccine. Uh, staff and signage 
will direct patrons on occupancy limits in restrooms. The lobby will close promptly after the show. Concessions will be sold, however. Food and drink may be consumed only in designated areas outdoors. No food or drink may be consumed inside the building. Tickets and programs will be paperless. Uh, blah, blah, okay. If you already have tickets to the show at the Hangar Theater and are unable or unwilling to adhere to this policy, you may request a refund at the following link at any point within the next 14 days, in parentheses, until September 16th at 12 p.m. So I'm four days later. They, they, they did not send me any notification of this. So, uh, uh, so the, the hangar theater basically tells me, they send me a link to go to Eventbrite, who is who I bought the tickets from, and then you go to Eventbrite, and you find third-party event organi organizers create and manage the events on Eventbrite. They are responsible for setting a refund policy and issuing refunds. If you want a refund for your ticket, send a request to the organizer of the event. Uh, so I, uh, I, I went through, uh, I went through, first I tried, even though they told me to go to Hangar Theater and take it up with them, I went through request a refund directly from your Eventbrite account. I go through all of their, uh, I go through all of their goddamn rules and they just, uh, what it does, it sends you back into the loop. All it does is take you back to the page in this endless loop. Uh, <coughs> does this answer your question? And I put the frowny face. Sorry to hear that. How can we improve this Eventbrite help center, blah, blah, blah. I checked solutions did not work as described. And uh, they told me that I was welcome to leave a comment, but there is no way I can talk to anyone at support. So my, uh, my comment to Eventbrite is, I hope every one of you mask and vaccine Nazis gets corona panic, dies a horrible, painful death, and roast and hell for eternity. Other than that, great job, you fuckers. So we're going to submit that. Thanks. Knowing what's wrong helps us make it right. So then, of course, since they told me to uh, take it up with, with uh, the Hangar Theater, so uh, I call, I get the little uh, robot on the phone, and uh, they say, uh, you know, if you have any problems, uh, to send them an email, and they will get back with me promptly. So this is the email that the Hangar Theater in Ithaca, New York just received. Hello, my name is Hambone Littletail. Back in July, I purchased a ticket for the Chris Smither concert. At the time I purchased the ticket, I confirmed with you that there was no mask or vaccine passport required for the performance. Had there been, I would not have purchased the ticket. I noticed that since that time, you have gone back on your word and are now requiring sheep, oops, I mean people, to be both jabbed and masked. Since, as far as I know, this is not a Halloween costume ball, 
And as far as I know, this is still a free country where adults are still allowed to make decisions regarding their own health. And I have decided that I am, in fact, a human and not a guinea pig or a sheep. I respectfully request a refund of the $35 ticket price. You are welcome to advertise my seat to another sheep, I mean guinea pig, I mean human, who does not be who does not mind being treated like a sheep or a rodent and will allow themselves to be insulted, debased, and dehumanized in such a manner. Meanwhile, I will apply the price of this ticket toward the next Eric Clapton concert I hear about where no mask or vaccine passport mandates will be allowed. Since this event was to be my birthday party, I have no idea if the other four people originally planning to join me will attend or not. Please advise how I should get my refund. Thank you. Signed, Hambone Little Tail, adult human with a brain. Okay, so then obviously I had to go do a little bit of research. You know, Ithaca, New York is in Tompkins County, New York. Uh, Tompkins County has a population of 102,180 people. Uh, so in history, 38 people since day one have died of Corona panic in Tompkins County, New York. And of course, over there on percentage calculator, 38 is what percent of 102,180? It is 0.037%. So more than 99.96% of people in Tompkins County, New York have not died of corona panic. And thank you, the New York Times. And you can do this with any county uh, in the, well, I guess at least New York, I don't know. Uh, all right. So what this is is a graph going all the way back to March the 20th, 2020, to, uh, to today. And we find, as I remember from last year, not one person died in Ithaca, New York, until November 19th. So we had a, so what all of this is, is all of the deaths, uh, you know, during the big surge. So on February 3rd was the, was the deadliest day uh, in, of all, I think three people died on February 3rd. Then on March 15th, we had one person die on March 15th, 2021, not one person in Tompkins County, New York, has died of corona panic since March 15th. And as far as I know, uh, the Hangar Theater, I, I, I am virtually 100% sure now that every single live music venue in Ithaca, New York uh, has the same policy, probably in Ithaca and the entire state of New York. So anyway, uh, so much for Hambone Little Tail's birthday party this year in Ithaca, New York. Oh well. Enjoy Hambone's birthday party without Hambone. But I am going to get out there and enjoy a margarita on this spectacularly gorgeous, almost last day of summer margarita. I guess uh, 
tomorrow night I will have my last summer of 2021 margarita and my last margarita as a 61 year old before I am officially an old man on Wednesday. Get out there and enjoy your end times margaritas while you still can. Bye guys.